Good evening. I'd like to open the Deerfield Planning Board meeting, November 4th, 2019, at 7 o'clock on this lovely Monday night here at the Deerfield Town Hall. Our agenda is to review some minutes of previous meetings, review the mail, take some public comment if there's any. And then um, on the agenda, we have some old business, which is about old Deerfield 3 solar project. And then we'll have some discussion or review of zoning bylaws for current relevance and or clarification. And then we'll have a discussion, continued discussion about the planning board function, members' responsibilities, uh, communication, general operations, assistance, and funding. And that includes connection to the town staff. Then um, any other business not reasonably anticipated, 48 hours prior to the posting of this meeting, we'll set a date for the next meeting and adjourn. Any comments on this? So I was, I was informed soon after this was posted last week that the old Deerfield 3 solar project folks are not going to be here tonight. So that was supposed to be a public hearing? And if you remember, there was, we had said at the last meeting that we had said we could have a public hearing if they wanted it. But remember, they were up, they, they said, we're not sure we want to open this. go through with it. So. Well, I, did, I was in contact with them, okay. and they contacted me, and uh, at first they said they wanted to go forward with it, so I contacted Diane. Uh, the next day he called me back and said that um, <clears throat> some of the preliminary uh, information they got from Eversource wasn't current, so they wanted to take time and get Eversource on board. Uh, they were going to uh, change the way they were going to lay their uh, power lines. Right. Mm -hmm. so, they said they wouldn't be ready for this time, so okay. right. we never did post it. All right. Okay. So that's a, a change to this uh, agenda. Any other, anything else? So right. they may or may not come back to us. They may or may they, not. They will us. come back, but they just weren't going to be ready for this that meeting. Okay. Right. Good. And we do have a quorum. Um, you want to say who are, say who we are? Because I don't get the name tags out tonight, so. Rachel Blaine. John Waite. Kip Camosa. Paul Ellis. Roger Sadowski. And then one absent Max, Max Antis. Uh, I'll take this opportunity to invite, to, uh, to introduce anyway, a, a visitor we have uh, who's staying with me and he's working with me at the Franklin County CDC, uh, Ahab Jabarin, yeah, from Israel. And he's on a U.S. fellowship. He's here for... Uh, six weeks in the United States. So he was in Boston for the past two weeks. He's out in Franklin County for two weeks. So learning about small business stuff, but also public policy and how towns work. So I thought, come to a planning board meeting. Nothing better. So, <laughs> welcome. All right, so we have an agenda. So we have a, uh, some minutes. So before we review, uh, actually, I should take public comment. Is there anybody have any public comment that's about something that's not on the agenda tonight? Hey, Chris. Well, I was going to just check in with you concerning the zoning, but it sounds like you're going to get to that. I, I think that I think your urge will come up as we, we um, since we don't have the solar, we're going to talk more about uh, zoning bylaws. So we'll get to that. All right. Um, all right. So then, some minutes. So what I wanted to say about the minutes is that. Um, the, uh, if you remember, the, we're talking about town staff and that we need more help here. And so Diana had someone, do you know remember Alex, his name? Alex, that kid from the city. All right. The, uh, he's like an intern or he's help, he's kind of doing like some that. projects yep. for the town. So he actually listened to the tapes from this meeting and did some minutes and they were very thorough. <laughs> you saw them, eight pages, I think? I, yeah, six to eight pages. Which is much different than what we usually do. And it was actually really recording dialogue and everything. Yeah, just but the reason why, so I talked to Diana, the reason why they talked about that and they've talked to our attorney also is because when we come to making a decision that, that sometimes in our discussion we're coming up with like conditions and all those things. So they kind of thought it was important. Um, whereas for us, we have shorter minutes and then when we get to the decision, we try to put things into the decision itself, the conditions mm -hmm. that we set. So it seemed like there was two different ways to take 
Yeah, minutes the thing to I tell noticed the that truth. the votes weren't all in there. Um, yeah. th not every that this complete as he had it didn't show up with the votes in there for some reason. So there's a couple other things. Uh, there. So I consider that was like a trial. A trial, and I think. Well, we send it out to everybody, but I think we should vote on these minutes. These are the minutes that we yeah. are used to and that we're using. Mm -hmm. um, but the other but, is, but the other is and, and the other thing is that uh, basically I said there's, you know, as volunteers and Paul's not going to take verbatim on this thing and you're not going to sit for a couple hours with the tape. So if we do get more staff help, then maybe we can change the way we do minutes and maybe have them more thorough. But until then, I think yeah. this is what okay. we're going to get. But but um, Diane and others at the town are still trying to look for some support for us okay. from, from that office. So, All right, so let's go and over. And it's a good opportunity for us to thank Paul for this work, too. This is a good, good and we really appreciate it. Thank and you. I think we don't. Um, we don't say that all the we time. We don't say that enough. <laughs> so thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the work. Six, six thumbs up. Okay. Yes. Six. six thumbs up. What do they call those cats with six thumbs up? <laughs> Where is it going to go? I know. Okay. <laughs> Let's just review the minutes and vote on it. I got a question. Well, let me say that what I did is I, I read through that, that, that whole thing with uh, the six, eight pages. Yeah. And, and I pulled out this section right here. Um, so if we have any questions on that. About the uh, conditions? The four conditions. Uh, the, the, well, this whole thing, starting with Rachel Blaine made. Yeah. 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 From there the down, decision. that's all from his, his stuff there. So I assumed that. Somewhere he got that information. I you need to make sure it's correct, though. Yeah, thank you. I think that that was the. Uh... That's what I had. Yeah. Those four. Okay. Well, good. The three, the four, the four points were what I had. Yep. But the yep. top part is what. Oh, oh what I see. I didn't have. Right. So it's a little more and that formal. Detail. So yeah. Yeah. Right. That will help in writing the decision. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All the important stuff. Yeah. So there's that, and then, um, then also here on this on this um, section here at the top of the page, I took that out of his thing. There we can, um, you know, just make sure that it looked it looked okay to me, but. 
that's where I had a problem. The old Deerfield Three Solar Project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sentence is just. I think it wants to move the location of the connection to EverSource. Right. We, it's, it's like a they funny sentence. To, they wanted to move it up to another road. That's no, but I just the, the sentence. I'm sorry. What's that? I'm is correcting this, the sentence. Oh, okay. What, what is it? What needs to be corrected? Wants to move the location of the connection to EverSource. It just says wants to move the EverSource. What does that mean? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, move you know? the source connection. Yeah, sure. gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I'll look and see if that was. Um, and it's. It, it, I'm not sure it's to a more under to a more direct. I'm not sure either. It's that's correct either. Well, but. I think he said that at this at the meeting. It was. It's a shorter road. Yeah. Was it? The meters have to be on the property that. That was the problem. The solar field is on. That's yeah. what, what the issue at was. Ever sources. Yeah, and I and I drove up there and I had a question on that. I don't know if it's appropriate or not, but um, it sounds like the cables go underground to that point. Then they come up to four telephone poles and put whatever they got to do on, and then go back underground. So, so that uh, I'm not sure why they have to come up to four poles after being underground everywhere else. That was just a, I didn't get to ask them that because I didn't go up and look at it. Ahead of well, time. that's why we're gonna have, we might have a public hearing, so right. yeah, okay. we don't need to worry right. about just that. Something, just something that. So I would just make that so it just says it wants to move the EverSource connection. Period. Can we just say that? Yep. Because the, the rest of it rest. seems yeah, it seems Why? Okay. we're yep. not totally sure about it, and it's not really relevant. So okay, we'll take that out. All right. Otherwise, it looks good. Do we have a motion to? Uh, Chris Chamberlain's name is spelt wrong in the first section under guests. I think. In where? In guests? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A A I N. A I N. A I N. Okay. What's that? And Chamberland. Chamberland. Okay. Very good. Well, then spelled wrong both places. Yeah, so it's spelled so wrong. It'll, be spelled, it'll spelled, be spelled wrong everywhere. I'll change it everywhere <laughs> else. And I move to approve the minutes of October 7th, 2019. Second. Miller with corrections. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? And, or, sorry, actually, if you put uh, Anne Mary's last name up in the present, would be good, too. Where's that? Anne Mary. She's present. Um, but it seems like the rest of us get a second. I think sorry, you only get two. You only get two words. Yeah, and Mary. Oh, which one? Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Be quick. Which one? Yeah. Do you and want? I and I also found Ann. I'm sorry, but down at the bottom there was a hyphen in there for some reason. Uh, that's I my name. Out. I have a hyphen. I, I'll take that out. No, that's my name. I have a hyphen. Oh, so oh, you do want? So a hyphen Anne should be there. Okay. There you go. I have a hyphen. So okay. She only sorry. Has one well, word. let me put hyphens in all these places. I just took them all out because I thought they weren't supposed to be there. Nope. Details. 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 Gotta get it right. Okay, there's some more places somewhere I'll get it. Here it's right there. Okay, all right. All right, so moving right along. So as, I, as we said, there's no public hearing tonight. Uh, there's no discussion about solar project. So we want to talk about um, potential zoning bylaw changes. And um, Chris Curtis is here, and we've had some emails. So Chris, could you come up and explain? Explain some of the ways you might be able to help us. So this was this is um, we've talked about this in the past, and that the town is obviously short staff right now, but we need to move forward on some things. So Chris, who has planning experience and is from the town, so can you just help? Uh, have you been hired, or just help explain? <laughs> I, I'm not, not sure yet. I got it. All. Um, so Diana Schindler approached me and asked if. I might be able to help you um, with specific types of assistance. Um, they have so, a modest amount of, of funds available. And we, I don't have a contract yet. That's why I kind of came tonight was to see if we could, you know, go through a list of things that might be your priorities and talk about that. But um, just to be clear, what I think Diana's thinking is she's going to try to get you some additional support as well as, you know, having me be involved with, with working on bylaws with you. She, right. I know you need also kind of day-to-day -day support and someone to come to meetings and so forth. That that person wouldn't be me, but it would be right. someone that else that she finds to, to help out as well. And um, then that just a quick update on that is that they, they have applicants for, it's kind of a revised job description of what Priscilla had. And um, 
and again, I don't know what the time frame is, but they're working on getting that position, and that person would have some hours for more of the day-to-day -day stuff for us. Right. Yeah. So what Diana talked to me about was, you know, working with you to try to help craft and adopt, essentially, th maybe three to four bri um, bylaws that might be your top priorities so that you could be sort of moving forward with doing some actual planning for the town in addition to all of the permitting and processing of development that you have to do on a you know, regular basis. And I said I would you know, be happy to, to try to do that. Um, so in order to kind of craft a scope of work and get something under contract so I can actually start helping you, um, I wanted to, you know, if we could spend just a couple of minutes thinking through you know, what your list of top priorities might be um, in that regard. Um, the other thing I should tell you is that, and you may know this already, I'm, I'm already working with the select board on um, MVP, the Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness Program. And so we have a pretty sizable grant that we're working on right now that we're just kind of getting up to speed and hiring other consultants, engineers, and so forth to work on things like culvert replacement and green infrastructure in the town center. Um, and then I'm writing a another big MVP grant that's due in, in um, 10 days. <laughs> so I'm going to be pretty straight out for the next you know, week and a half or so, but then hopefully by that time we'll be able to get a contract started and we can, I can start working on some of these other things. So, Not to interrupt, but does that MVP, does that include some of the floodplain work that, or are they looking at those bylaws or they want us um, to think about there that? Is, we did a lot we of are going to plug in some, some bylaw work, but it, the floodplain stuff is, is essentially already already sort of been paid for by MVP, yeah. so that would you know, the implementation of the floodplain bylaw that we still obviously need to yes. adopt would be one of the things that I thought okay. might be on the list All for right. the All sort right. of the, we'll call it the planning board contract. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. 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 Um, so it would be still part of our it's our it's our proposal that's going to be right. Made. Sure. Okay. Yeah. But just to give you a quick sense, um, what, what we're thinking about for the new MVP grant is kind of going through a comprehensive review of the town's zoning and other bylaws to look at um, climate resiliency issues mm -hmm. and um, generally how to promote that, you know, in various ways. So, you know, encouraging, you know, tree planting, for example, and, you know, in new developments is to the extent that we can or encouraging um, energy efficient development and buildings and so forth in the town um, and you know anything in in the way of, of resilience that we can kind of think about mm -hmm. and then I think um, we can still get s perhaps some money to work on the site plan review revisions that we started working on you you'll recall which were kind of the green development performance standards um, I think we we could plug in a small component in the, in the MVP grant for that. Now, again, we don't know if we're going to get that grant or not, but so I just wanted to give you kind of heads up that that's. Are those state grants? I'm sorry? Is those state grants? They are state grants the from state to... Executive Office of Environmental yeah. Affairs. Mm -hmm. So on this one, we probably won't know until January if we get it or not. Mm -hmm. um, All right, well, that's good. So let's. So we've, over the last several months, we've developed a list of bylaw, e either improvements or changes we want to make. Okay. Um, so let's, let's talk about them and maybe then start to prioritize them and see what we need help with. Where is that, where is that list? Well, I'm looking at the, um, oh. from our um, <coughs> September uh, agenda, actually, we said that um, regarding possible changes to bylaws, Relative to marijuana establishments, solar electric installations, a lot of that had to do with that size thing, lot size and shape restrictions, and accessory apartments. Yep. So those were, Our those have been babies. hanging around, accessory apartments hanging around for a long time. Marijuana, because we've learned things over the past year or two. And we have Same with solar, tomorrow. I guess, yeah. And then the lot size, because we've had these couple of really funky ones that we want to maybe just look at that and say, are our, what was the most recent one, Roger? What was the one that we had that was, the where the lots just 
you know, the frontage, we get the hourglass or the L-shaped ones. Oh, oh flag lots? Flag, flag lots, lots yeah. 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 So we've just had a few of those we want to just look and see. Yeah, but I think it was, we tried to, angles could only be a certain, you know, they couldn't be real tight so to do that right. and stuff like that. Um, I mean, we may not. We've adopted those already, so we wouldn't end up with those. But we've ended up with a couple just recently, one being Pioneer Gardens. Well, yeah. well then, then it's a matter of, I think it goes to the next step of what do you count when you're counting uh, impervious surface? For instance. Can, like on a flag lot, can you count like the part that's beyond well, that? Supposedly we don't have percent. flag lots in town. You have to have so much frontage. A flag no. lot, in my mind, is like 50 foot and then so many acres in the back. I, I, I don't think we do, but we have had a couple where that we've been challenged by that. Where? Well, I know that... Well, well anyway, it, 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 right now, we, we don't need to get into the details. We want to get on the table what our what the highlights, what the priorities are. So, so I just named those four. Are there others? Well, also the flood, flood plain. Adopting the and flood then, plain. Okay, the flood plain. Because we had on that one, I believe the public hearing that we had was on June 25th. Mm -hmm. And so that. the six month clock on that, you know, runs out in December. And six months to get it to? To town meeting. To town meeting. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, if, so we don't, right if we don't get it to town meeting in December or by the end of December, then we have to have another public hearing. Which, oh. yeah. This isn't and the worst thing. It's not the worst. I mean, oh, we, no have, we have the structure. <coughs> we have the bones. It's not like... Yikes. And there's no town meeting. Well, is that's it? it. No, no. Not particularly. Coming up? Mm. Unless, unless there was a special, I guess. But right. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing that we had talked about was the wording by special permit and where that is in the zoning bylaws. You and I had just talked about that and Paul recently. I know. Remind us a little bit more about that. Um, that there are lot sizes running up and down five and ten that um, are zoned for specific size buildings by special permit. Oh. And so that has been problematic sometimes and so we were thinking about looking at where that language is and where it doesn't belong. So that gets back, basically back to the use table, and should we change some places where it says special permit to no's, or or yeses to you know, to just kind of go back over that again? Right. If it's a no, it's a no. Yeah. If it's a yes, it's a we yes. Because we were we. Well, some people might say we we're kind of lenient, and if we couldn't decide, we said, "Well, we'll make it a special permit." But which means yes. Which could. Opens, yes. opens the door to yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's a use stable um, reclassifying, reviewing some of the special permits right. in particular, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was thinking too, there was some, something also with um, uh, a place where there's definitions in a section of the, mm -hmm. of the bylaws too that um, I don't know how we standardize that into the bylaws. Well, that came up a bit when we were doing the floodplain. Uh -huh. We were we were trying to create a um, yeah, were, glossary, so to speak, yeah. that would and capture everything. Out, it wouldn't be out somewhere in a section of the right uh, of the zoning somewhere. It's not in. The you just want to pull all the definitions into one spot in the bylaws, I think so. essentially. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I think some of them yeah. were different. We had we had some. some um, some, uh, yeah. I'm trying to oh. think of the term I'm trying to give to it. <laughs> I have one more thing. Okay. Lighting. Remember we couldn't find the lighting? Lighting uh, concerns relative to the, we've been using the lighting, um, I'll, I'll look it up. Sorry, but we've had You're some issue lighting with lighting. Section. You yeah, couldn't find we it. couldn't find it. That came up. I remember that, that discussion. Was weird, and we yeah. felt like we'd. And I, I went back and looked, and I couldn't find it. And huh. So if anybody, so I think that's another. And we we've had our peer reviewers come in and give us all these things like this is supposed to be like this, and we all say yes, mm -hmm. we think it's the in our bylaws, but in fact it's our peer reviewers that are setting those standards. So. Maybe that's fine, but I think it should be for for cons 
those were developed. Those specifications, like straight light. I've looked. Heavy, I know, and heavy down, down light. I got to look again, Roger, but less, I do too. And I was, it came up in this meeting, and I'm like, I couldn't find it. And somebody had brought it to me saying, I don't see it anywhere either. So I, I know we talk about it with peer reviewers, but I don't know that we've had it in our. Because I know there was some concern with one of our applicants that's sitting here. Yes. Uh, about, you know, South Main Street, all the lighting. The lighting they was going to work. Not to have any lighting, and they wanted it and stuff. Yep. So. Well, that was relative to marijuana. Right. This is this is other elsewhere. That was what's funny. So I think we've had so many of those different projects that we didn't end up having something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyway, can't, I can't find it in our. Yeah. All right. So something else to review. So then, as to prioritize these, um, I guess is. There's a uh, I can't find it it's not there. The marijuana establishment <laughs> one is already sort of on the table and something has been submitted to the select board who has passed it on to us. Is that what Yeah, that's you've got what there? this is from Lesser Newman, Aleo and Nasser. They're so, sending this on proposed. Was that to the select board or to the planning board? Um oh. It says to the select board here, but right. So then I think the board. select board at one of their last meetings said to, we want to pass this on to the planning board, and then there's a time issue. Can I see that? Um, uh, Diana handed me the other day a copy this? of these. There are two letters. Um, one is from Evans Cutler Attorneys on behalf of Go Grizz LLC, right. which propose proposes really an entire you know new marijuana bylaw right and then a response from lesser Newman Leo and Nasser lawyers for um, Deerfield Naturals and they have a response to that proposal so um, so I, I kind of feel like that's the one we got to move on quick and have some public hearings yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so we should put together a schedule for that. I, so what, what do you want to do, though? We, we want to um, revise. We have a very open <laughs> plan. Revise the marijuana bylaws. OK. Which we're in a lot of public hearings. We got a lot of information. The town voted on it. But then that was two or three years ago. And now we've learned a lot since then. So, um, so you have a bylaw. You want to amend it. Yes. There's, there's sort of two proposals or this one's one and a half proposals exactly right. to amend it. So there's a proposal, and then the other one's not so much a proposal as much just comments on the proposal. Right. Yeah. Right. So our, our uh, gentleman who likes to come on Monday nights <laughs> is here to enlighten us some more. So, yeah, so let's spend five, can we spend five or ten minutes on this and trying to figure yes. out what we need to do with the marijuana bylaws? Does that be all right? And um, we already discussed that. If we know what we're going to do. Turn, well, we got to really do it now. I think Attorney Evans can help us because um, now there's some time timelines <laughs> and stuff we need to meet too. So, uh, no, thank I'm you. I'm not sure you can help us, but he'll give yes. us some information. Yes. Keep us. <laughs> can I try to help you from Mike's yes. uh, yes. question. Yes. Yeah. yeah cool. uh, I thought we had something that it's ancillary to this, in that the setting up of taking greenhouses, creating new greenhouses, not getting any permitting, and then people move in there, you know, they can move in and set up another um, marijuana thing. Was that, wasn't that another issue we wanted to deal with? Well, it was a discussion we've had, and whether it goes, into, the, about whether it. It goes into this bylaw or it's a separate bylaw is yeah. something we've got to figure out. But right okay. now, we All want right. to kind of look at how we can improve our current mm -hmm. marijuana yeah. Yeah. bylaw, I think. So, Attorney Evans. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to mention that I, I submitted the draft bylaws, the ones that have been circulating, to the select board in, uh, I think it was actually September, 25th, and uh, they, they, I think, referred them on to you. Now, then at that meeting, they also received the letter from, that you just noticed there from uh, Lester that's Newman. Yeah. And uh, as a consequence of that letter, uh, uh, Carolyn Ness asked uh, Dick if he'd be the sort of point person on this and meet with me and Tom Lesser and Tom's client and try to work out these, these differences, and we did. We had a meeting last week, and I thought we were quite successful in working them out. And, um, and so, in, in a, as a result of that meeting, I tweaked 
the bylaws that I had submitted and sent them back to the select board. And hopefully they've sent that second set to you. And it's my hope that you will send schedule the public here. I think we have, for, all we have that I have is draft 1.5, 920, 19. Is that, that was a, that was. So this is just one. Yeah, 1. 1.5 is, the, it was the one I submitted to the select board. The last one? No, and then I revised it. The new one is 1.6, which I okay, hope so you have, not, but you may not. That's you the last one we got. I do. I have a, a copy of the. Would you like a red lined copy or a clean copy or both? Red lined copy. Red line? I'll give you one of each. Uh, Geez, I have 3.0. I'm old, huh? What, what number do you say? Uh, 1.5. 1. 1. Okay. Three, it's only 3.0, but it's the draft oh. is 1.5. Okay. That's the one we got before up on the left hand. Right. Look to the left there. This, this is and this is yeah. 1.6. Here, this That's is red line over here. Yeah. It's a clean copy. These are the same. All right. So, could you just help us? What What's the um, Do you know what the time timeline is uh, as this moves forward? We're just asking you to schedule yep. this for a public hearing. All right. And hopefully in December. I did. I I thought I heard something about this. Some law that you have to kind of well move on it within 120 days or yes, I think three I think years or five days. Or, but, but, uh, yeah. but, but it's chapter 48, section five, mm. which is in my file here somewhere. You can look that up if you want. But uh, so so I guess this is the kind of thing that um, we should schedule a public hearing for, and then. Could we ask Chris to take it, um, that, that he could be our advisor consultant on this to actually, because we need someone to take the current one and get input what we think are issues with it, then take this one and just see, um, you know, we, we want to start from our current one and, and we consider this as like an advisement from a, okay. obviously an interested party. Um, so. We don't necessarily want the interesting parties to write our bylaws, but if, if they can be helpful, that's great. Yeah. So, so can I ask you a question? Sure. Would you be open to you know, amendments to the proposal that you've you know, put together? If, For the most part, if, sure. If we work through the sure. but board. Well, no, see, that, I'm not, that's not a, in my mind, it's not a question to him whether what he really wants or doesn't want. It's, okay. We're going to have public hearings. <coughs> we're going to hear from the townspeople. Yeah. And we're going to hear from professionals, right. and then we're going to, <coughs> and and uh, we would expect and hope that uh, Attorney Evans would participate in that public hearings and make, yep. make and he's already obviously made his uh, some of his desires already well known. So, and again, it's not, a lot of them are very similar to what we have. I think there's a couple that are going to be more contentious, <coughs> I'd say, or more there'll be more discussion than than other parts of it. Right. So, I guess I was thinking, you know, if you're going to have a public hearing. You might want to have the public hearing on a bylaw that the planning board has already sort of worked on. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> so you're not doing a public hearing on something that's being submitted outside of the yeah. planning board. Right. And that's where we, we keep saying we want to work on it and we never do. Right. So that's kind of where we're at. So okay. well then why why don't I suggest that we have another meeting? Yeah. And yeah. that's the only thing on the agenda. Yeah. That's yeah. the only thing that we'll yeah. deal with. Nobody else. No. And have, and before that, have Chris kind of put things together and compare so we can then figure sure. out the bigger. I don't know if Chris really understands what we want. That's why well, I think that, well, we should be included in the discussion. Yeah. Right, we should. Yeah. It's uh, 65 days that, uh, that yes. uh, you were required to hold public hearing. Yeah. 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 So. You know, and that's where our monthly schedule starts to, to really run into things. Well, so, uh, anyone on the board? I mean, the only thing that I saw that with the marijuana things is we have that written that you can't have the establishments within 2,000 uh, feet of each other, and it didn't have any language, you know, to deal with town lines. Right. So I think that was one of the issues uh, that we wanted to change it so that they can't be within 2,000 feet providing they're within the same town. Uh, we have a situation where we have one uh, proposed that's close to the town of Waitley, and Waitley might have one there, so our bylaw wouldn't allow one if there was already one in the next town, and, and that was one thing. 
uh, were there other things that, you know, I know that there's discussion about changing these, but were there other things that we saw as a board problematic? Do we have something with the uh, school, with the nursery school or whatever no, over here? That's been settled. I think we did. Was that everything worked yeah. into our, into yes. our files? Yep. Okay. Yeah. My concern is that we, uh, is the RA, anywhere in RA, I'm still, I, I still don't feel comfortable with that. That's I feel comfortable with it here. at the time and I, I still don't feel comfortable with it. And, and, I, I, and I agree with you and I think that was a, a compromise um, Can you say it again? Can you say it so um, the agriculture, ME, right. any medical or m marijuana, medical, marijuana establishment, ME, can be with anywhere within uh, the RA with special permitting. Okay. So that just means that we're open to a huge um, That was just for grow, though. And oh, that's not been suggested, I don't think. That's not the way that these revised bylaws read. So I was going to ask that question too. No, is this I mean, they don't read that way. They have a they have a overlay the, district for where yeah. marijuana can be sold and stuff, or is it for? No, the, I, I like my question was: Do other board members have any? I mean, were there issues any other that we issues that we want to look at? Uh, and, and and I I tend to issue. agree with that. Um, that was a, I was I was concerned about it at the time, and I continue to be concerned about it. I feel like. That leaves us. Yeah, I thought in, we all were concerned with it. And I we're think a lot put of us a moratorium were, yeah. on it for a while until we got it straightened. I think out. A lot of us were, and that didn't happen. And then we, right. got, then we got, and that that's where I was. I felt like we kind of bet on the wrong horse. Some of us bet on the wrong horse. Yep. And the horse didn't win, and so oh. we got stuck with the other horse. And that's my problem with it. it and I feel like thrown, that got thrown at us pretty fast, and yes, maybe we yeah. should. Uh, no, no, I think uh, like everybody else in the state, we got, and we weren't as flat-footed as, I oh. mean, I don't think we're fine. But anyway, point being, here we are with um, the opportunity to have uh, marijuana establishments anywhere in the residential agricultural area. Well, just grow. It's cultivation. 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 Yeah, okay. But. I, I'm not comfortable with it either, Rachel, so. I just feel like that leaves us very open. Now, I, maybe maybe somebody can convince me, but at the time, we weren't even talking about that. We didn't well, have, a, it was we didn't have put, a big discussion about it. I believe I, it was definitely put before this board is that we were trying to help out local farmers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think that there were many local farmers N none. that were right. doing this. I mean, we helped out one individual right. uh, only because he was able to sell his property for the large money. Right. Uh, but. You know, so anyway, I think that that's the, the right. point is that that we have we have uh, and we we might want to just think about it. I don't know, but well, we're, the, we're and I agree. And we have a marijuana overlay district. Yes, we do. But, but then we open this up to our growing. so we could just put everything into an overlay district if we wanted. But also that it continues to be problematic language. This by special permit, right? Is that the same thing that you're talking about? Mm, yeah, except, well, uh, I mean, I'm very happy that it's by special permit, frankly, because it means that it's not by right. Mm. Yeah, no, I get that. But I'm saying... So it means every single one would come to us, we'd have to go through a special permitting in order to decide one way or the other, and we have to go through all of the, the steps, and it just feels so... And at a certain point, it's almost gets to be like... Uh, and, and, you know, we're going to keep getting... Proposals. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. All right. Well, that's so what I'm saying if we take out by special permit, then it's not allowed, right? Well, that's Her what you're saying. And, and what we could do is say no there, but then say yes, we could change. Correct. We could change the overlay district right. if we wanted to, because right now the overlay district is pretty small and tight. Well, um, I think. A lot of the officials wanted that, so they right. could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so all we're doing right now is putting out on the table what we want to. Talk about. Okay, but yeah. well, let me say one more thing. Though yep. the other thing we could do is make a, a special permitting for marijuana, and so then it's a it's a different it's a different set of restrictions. I don't know. That's hey, another. Say way. that again. What do you mean? A special permitting that is particular. No, no, forget. It. It's, it's a bad idea. Take it back. Yep. Thinking out loud. Again. Strike the minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Pretend they didn't. Take hear that, that back, Alex. Yep. Wherever you are. Yep. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't understand it. They're good. <laughs> well, Gal Guardians of the right. Galaxy says, I take it back. And then the other question is, what um, cultivation, processing, and sales? Yes, yes. Um, whether we want to relook at that at all. 
So I think those are yep. those are the major differences, I guess, with our current. So yeah, we had everything in PI, right? That's originally how we were doing it, and then it. But no, for the sales um, and any kind of product management. I mean, well, originally the, they wanted to have control of everything from the police department, have it close to the police department through the feed, the PI um, zones, and then now that's changed. And no, well, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. It hasn't. But we still have it that way. It's still that way. Okay, but. but what? We got the we have we have the uh, growing and whatever down there regarding it's just the growing. gardens. Just, it's just growing. There's no sales retail sales there. Okay, all right. Or manufacturing. Or what's the third one? Cultivator, manufacturer, retailer, and then testing labs. Testing labs. And then there's the public consumption that we. No, everywhere. But, um, right. Yeah. So this is section 4660 of the, of the bylaws. See, I, so I guess, it, so what, what we're saying is to, for a public hearing, we want to have a proposal. Right. That the public can then react to. And that's the one that if, if at the end of the day they're happy with it, then we can move it to um, town meeting. Mm -hmm. If we have a proposal and then people don't like some of the stuff, then we have to change it. Then you have to have like another public hearing if you have a substantial changes, right? Right. So not having read the entire proposal that's come to the select board to us, but I know uh, one piece of it is about uh, marijuana product manufacturing. Um, so I think the <laughs> I think my sense of the planning board is that we would not want that to be the one that's proposed to the town meeting, to the, uh, at the public hearing. If enough people in the public say we should add it, then we could add it and then have another public hearing. But I wouldn't have it go the other way. Okay. Does that make sense? Is that what? And this is in the RA zone you're talking about? In the RA zone, yeah. That should even, it shouldn't even be proposed. Well, right. Because it's because we, residential agricultural. That's a yeah. commercial or industrial right. application. So in and my mind, have, strike it and be done with it. All right. And we have commercial you know, right. properties there. And I think the, 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 the cultivation of marijuana, it's much different than any crop. You know, and I don't think it belongs in a, right. a agricultural or residential situation, plain and simple. So let's let's have another. I think we need a full meeting on this, or a good hour or something. But I think we're going in the direction. The thing that we would want to put out there to the public is no manufacturing in RA, and even restricting cultivation in RA more than it's restricted now. Because if you use that train of thought, anybody that raises any type of real agricultural process, whether it be corns, chips, or uh, beans or whatever, well, yeah, well, let's put up a manufacturing we'll, we'll can it right here on the thing so doesn't make sense well, it, it makes sense to some people but we want to hear well, from I'll, you know we want to hear from but the it, majority it, of people that's kind of a, tr a tricky thing because my understanding of a lot of stuff is I'm not going to do this but I have a lot of voids so I, I start cutting down the trees now we have something our bylaws says you can't have a sawmill in town if I cut my trees down, I can build a sawmill. You can't sawmill because that's farming. So now I cut the wood and I want to build there a factory. There is such a bylaw, Kip, that you can't have a sawmill in town? Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah, it's in the use group. So, but you can if you're cutting the trees in. So now I got this wood, I can build a factory and start making furniture, you know, and have a store. It's like, you know, nobody <laughs> does that, but I mean, it. Well, yeah, but it's, it's manufacturing and it's not zoned for that so you couldn't do it well you could because it's farming it's a it's a part of farming well harvesting the trees is and maybe but anything to do with it you can yeah. sell the products you can alter the products it's like but a you're farm making a table or a chair or something yeah. so that's totally different i can understand getting the raw product into a board so you could do that yeah. maybe that's a little different because you know they do that with crops now you know they yeah, but there's there's other farmers in town that you know turn their farming products into relish and sell it on site or apples and they make apple pies and stuff like that you know you bring that's what i'm saying when it's agriculture there's a lot of things that can be brought into it. 
we don't see that that often, or not at all around here. But and like when you said they'll take a, a raw product and make it into an edible right. product, but it's on a small scale basis. It's not yeah. like and I know a big well, manufacturing plant, and there maybe is some more verbiage in that, so it wouldn't happen. Yeah. Well, we do have agricultural use exemption, and then agricultural use that's not exempted still might get special permit. Mm -hmm. So there's ways that we're, and some of this is by the state, right? GL uh, chapter 40A gives some. Uh, so that's all yeses, but then down here you get, so that sawmill thing might fall into down here. Special permit. Sawmill, it does have a sawmill. It says no yeah. for sawmills, yeah. yeah. Right. But then for agricultural use. So how do these portable mills, they can just come in and do cut up your boards and they're fine? Well, I think a lot of portable stuff is just temporary. All right, so we're still, we're still on the marijuana uh, rezoning. So, so I think we're really at a point where we need to all read both what we have here and then what's being proposed. And then if we could come up with a proposal that we want to then put out for a public hearing. So let me, let me jump to something here, if, if I can, is that um, there's been a proposal uh, actually by the select board that we meet with them on November 18th, which is two Mondays from now. And it could be a short thing. It's, it would be an executive session about the, uh, it's, it's, uh, the uh, yeah. Dollar General yeah. issue. Yeah. And then maybe we could do... Like at that, 6 o'clock we were talking Yeah, about, we right? could do that. Yeah, I think 6 o'clock. I, I have something at 7 Mondays. But then maybe we could stay that night and talk a little more about marijuana and then have a public hearing in, in, in December at our Monday, uh, first Monday in December. We could do a public hearing for the proposed bylaw. Might I suggest that we take it upon ourselves to think about how, if we do want to limit the grow in the RA as to how we can, how we can do that you know, fairly, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's that, very I think it's very difficult to tell somebody on that side of town you can and somebody on this side of town you can't. Agreed. That's why we ended up so That's why we ended up with permit. everywhere with yeah. a special permit. It yeah. just, it makes me... Uh, so I think that's the biggest issue is to figure out that. Figure out. I, I think a lot of people are against the manufacturing in RA. Um, so that, that would certainly be kind of a baseline. Actually, that's not revising anything because that's the way it is right now, I think. But to look at just general cultivation in RA, how else could we possibly handle that? Is it a no? Is it a special permit? Is it an overlay district? So I'm just going what back. We're just saying? going backwards a minute. On the, is November 18th going to be set to do? I just well, oh, it's a Monday. I'm kind of jumping ahead, but can we? Well, you brought can it we up. Get enough, uh, can we get a quorum? I can be here. Okay, okay. I can be there. You can at be there six, at six. Yeah, I, I don't want to. I can't stay past seven. The 18th. It's the third Monday. Yeah. Might be good for you. Yes. All right. So, um, so I'm going to tell Diana that tomorrow, and she's going to make see the select board. But it seems like she can get at least two. What hours. time is it? It's, it's Six o'clock. Six o'clock. So we did our executive session then about the Dollar General issue, and then um, afterwards we could continue this discussion. Chris, could you come that night? Two Mondays from now. Yeah, I think so. And then if we've all kind of got read over this a little bit and be, be more prepared. Mm -hmm. could, we could hammer out a proposal that then we could, uh, then you got to do a two week notice for public hearing, so that wouldn't be enough time. But, um, well, then we'd have to think of another date in September, in December, I guess. Yeah, yeah. probably. Okay. <laughs> Lovely month to have extra meetings. Okay. All right, Mr. Uh, Attorney Evans, any, any other comments uh, on this one? Is it okay if I? Converse with uh, Chris about this. Uh, fill him in on, on this. Uh, well, he he's, he knows he hasn't signed a contract yet, so he's not getting paid. So I don't know if he wants to converse without getting okay. paid for it. But um, okay, it, you know I don't think I don't yeah, think we, we have a problem. We can certainly talk after yeah, we right. get started on things. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to volunteer him for anything, but uh, 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 the main thing is to. I think is that you should be here for the public hearing. I mean, I, I mean, I personally like bylaws when they're out in the open, and we don't like backroom stuff. Uh, yes, I'm not saying you, I'm not so saying you're doing that. So we are very excited <laughs> to have a public hearing. We have seen more of you. Everything comes I see out more here. of you. Yeah. Right. Most people in my Lawyer. family. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
likewise. <laughs> yeah, and I hope that you've read these 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 drafts that I've this been bringing around for the last couple of months. No, he just gives, he gives but it still has yeah, the, the product manufacturing on it, and so you obviously yeah. haven't heard us. You know, so <laughs> no, it let's go. It goes both ways. We'll, we'll the question is yeah, whether the the, rest, the voters of Deerfield yeah. accept it. Right. I think we got right. right. that. Is okay. their call. Okay. And we yes. want to put it out to the town. But if you put it out one way versus put it out another way, with the old one, well, it has an impact on the this ultimate decision, the, right? The so yeah, but what, there can always be in the middle. Yep. Yeah. I'm yep. To get yep. On, on the floor, town. Yep. Okay, yep. Good. yep. Good. But but the issue it seems to be before the board right now is public hearing. You know. Yeah. It's been submitted. Yep. And your job is to schedule a public hearing on what's been submitted. Good. Dick, did you have another copy of this for Paul? I do. Okay. Okay. The red line or the. Uh, <clears throat> It doesn't. It doesn't matter. And I have a 1.5 version, but I don't. Know. But you've okay. sent this to Diana, has it or? I have. Totally. Yeah, I've sent this to. Everybody. I have. We have it. I, I have. Yeah. It on, All right. On, uh, I, did we get it by email already? Yes. Rodrigo. Okay. Oh, so you sent this to us by email. Yeah. Me? No. Oh. Diana. You think it came from Diana? And did she send out the lesser letter? Oh, I don't think I have. Then maybe I have the lesser letter. I think that went to everybody. The lesser letter. The lesser letter. No, no, no that one so. I don't have. I'm not in the loop anymore. No, okay. no you there's used no to be on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, 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 I know. Must been so weird. <laughs> I don't know anything anymore. Okay. Okay. Like, it didn't matter before. Yeah. I, I knew it. It didn't happen. So <laughs> you knew what you didn't know. Okay. Now you just right. don't know what you don't know. Okay. okay. It's better off not knowing. Trust me. <laughs> All right. Thank you, uh, Attorney Evans. Thank you. And this is So the what's the next priority? You think is. We have the solar, which wasn't, I don't think is such a big deal, so I'd like to think that could go quickly. Yeah, I think the solar, we should just limit it to the area and not how much power it can generate. Right, to. but the, num the, the number we've never come up with, I don't think, is what is that? Well, what did, what did we, did, uh, so we currently we classify small, medium, or large, or extra large by the, the voltage. Yes. No, the power. The power. The power. Yeah. So if we so if we just take the footprint so, and forget about the power, I think we've got. What we so need. let's just say the extra large can like it is now. It can be almost anything, and it has to come before us as a special permit. Right. A large, you could say, could be up to I don't know five acres. I mean, it's really kind of random. Um, that's think? the thing. It seems sort of arbitrary for us. It to is be arbitrary. Like two or five. Right or now, it's on a. On a lot, your uh, house lot, you know, it can. It well, now residential is a different issue. Right. So we're talking so about that. That's going to be other, more difficult. But the so one what's the vision? Like, what's yeah. the purpose of it? Like, what's the goal? To, not to have such a. Not that I, I, I hate to choose these words, but an eyesore type thing. There are some people that find it offensive, and that's what we've heard the most. Uh, feedback. It, it's a, a structure that goes up in somebody's backyard that somebody else has to look at so some of us find there's going to be issues some of us it. find looking at solar technology is pleasing other people look at solar technology as you know a degradation of the yeah it's an ice and they can put so. it on their roof by right right so that's yeah. not yeah. it's but not the like basic saying, thing you is can't that do the, solar. The, 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 the limiting system. limiting the power when the panels keep getting larger getting able to do more and more power then footprint seems to be the best method of Right. Doing it rather than even figuring the electrical part into it. I feel like taste right. is subjective, though. You know what I mean? Like, what are we weighing it against? You know. I know. That's why we're well, trying. Well, oh, yeah. Why? Why do we have limits on it? Is what you're saying? Kinda. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I understand that. So, if understand. somebody has a property and they put their solar in basically in their neighbor's sight line, right? But not in theirs. It's not their house. It's not. You see what I'm saying? So. And that's all. We we are basically helping neighbors get along. We're not, you know, you don't just say like, hey, everybody well, I get be that, nice but to each other. I've looked at houses in this town where you can look into your neighbor's pool. You know what I mean? Right. Like, and maybe I don't like to look at corn, but you right. know, um, that's in my sight line. Right. You know, I get that's where I'm coming from. Like, well, sure, there are lots of things that neighbors do that other people don't want to look at. But does that mean that we need to make? So somebody puts a full on solar array in their backyard. That's okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, people can sunbathe naked in their backyard, and that's okay. I mean, people do what they do, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, you know, if we're going to change something, if we change it to a footprint, probably in another few years we'll change it again. Well, you know and that's the I thing. Mean? Like, I'm just playing I think devil's, it is different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, devil's advocate. I'm not saying. Trying, I'm kind of yeah. working through it. Like, it's a different thing. Um, it's a structure. Somebody's, 
I guess. So let, let's just get back to what, what our definitions are. So small scale is, is uh, and but we're how talking can we define ground. it if we don't know what it I'm is? Gonna, no, I'm going to tell okay, you what it says now. We have one existing. Yeah. Right. So small scale means, ground, and we're talking ground mounted uh, capacity of 10K or less. So that's not, we don't worry about that. And then we have large and extra large. Those are the ones that we're wondering if we need to change, right? Mm -hmm. Well, because we've run into Large is, uh, is the 10K to two, 2 megawatt and does not occupy more than 10 acres. So we had, you know, we already started talking about acres. Right. So maybe, so we might just say take out that two megawatt thing and just yep. stick to the 10 acre thing. Mm -hmm. To me, it's more than, it's, to me, it's also about stormwater well, and other well, things other, when you're talking about, right, right. you know, 10 it's acres. A, so it's yeah. not just about neighbors it's and that structure. Kind of. The, yeah, the yeah, other yeah, thing, John, is that, is that the, right. the size and the power that's generated is going to be regulated by Eversource. They're going to they're going to accept or not accept but, different and that's not uh, has nothing to do with us nor is it going to be fixed and an extra large is two megawatts uh, or, or more um, so and ready. more than 10 acres so we we, we, we got to well, well, less guess, than 10 acres and more than 10 acres I guess what I'm saying is that the Eversource says we we don't we don't have the we, we don't want this extra power so just by saying that it says you can't do it but In that's not words. that's not a planning board thing that's an Eversource that's thing. Eversource. They might keep changing, but we have to have our bylaws yeah. that don't care about their what their decisions are. Okay, I'm just I'm just seeing us doing something that can never happen. You know what I mean? That's the that's the issue I'm talking about. But what we're talking about is how how big these things are, whether they need special permits or by rights or not, right? So the less than 10 kilowatts isn't a size, and that's by that's by right. Okay? 10 kilowatts is by right. Uh, it's still a special permit. No. Um, well, being able to convert this would be, like I have no idea what the, how the two things relate to one another, like 10 kilowatts. Well, what we're saying is that the, the amount of megawatts and kilowatts doesn't matter to us for zoning. What matters for zoning is size. That's what we've kind right, of come over in that. the past. Uh, so if we're going to change it and change it to something, just get rid of the Yeah, so small scale is, is by right. Just, do the, just do the footprint. Yeah, make sure the footprint's going to work. So then you get in, then after that it becomes commercial. And then, that's what uh, you're talking about. So they can put that up in the backyard, and that's, it's like a pool. Right. You even a pool, you have to put the difference between all those things. Like, but it's I, I, I agree <laughs> with Anne Mary that it's too arbitrary, and that whether it's a large or extra large, it goes through the same scrutiny. Uh, so, I, you know, I kind of tend to don't really see the difference. So right now we have 10 acres or more. If it's bigger than 10 acres, it's a no every place except industrial. So the one that we approved is in the quarry, okay. right? Which was? Yep. All the other ones are 10 acres or less. But they weren't and they're special per they're special permit. That's the extra The two we things. improved were in, this is, okay, so this is why, why we got kind of jammed up because both of them we had to, they had to have variances because they were neither of them in industrial. Both of those were in commercial. That's true. And or, that or, was when Pat so they got a variance. Or right, both right. did though. They get a, both did, and we—that's one of the things we, we need to well, think about too. Is that if, if we no, wanna, it's a, we, we can do special permits for the ten acre or less. Which we did. That's what we've done. The, the other. Well, I, that's not the one I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one by the railroad. Oh we yes, the, and the, the, the brown fields. And then of course our big one on Woman Hill. Both of those we made. We made. Um, they got variances. Because they were extra large. Mm -hmm. And they were not in industrial, they were in commercial. commercial um, okay. So that's one of the things, and Pat gave us, I was on her way out the door, she said, you guys are, you're changing your bylaws, you know, with these two, we, I don't know, I'm just saying. We, we, we've made two variances. And the reason they had to do it was because of the power that they nope, produced, nope, not the nope, size. No, no, nope, everything nope. to do with the fact that those were both projects were in, in commercial areas, commercial areas oh, and okay. not in industrial, yeah. and we, we had made this decision Based, I think, my, my guessing is that we got commercial, uh, solar doesn't create jobs. <laughs> commercial, in, you know, zones we want to keep open to commercial opportunities for people mm -hmm. to grow businesses. Solar is not a, a growth business. I mean, you put mm -hmm. it in, you're good. Mm -hmm. And so I think that that was probably part of it. So now here we've had these two good projects. And both of which are one's done, and the other one is, uh, you know, hopefully close to underway. Mm -hmm. I'll keep going by, and they're not. But anyway, 
Um, and we, we did them because we um, believe those were good places for them, but they were both in commercial. And, and I don't, I personally don't see anything wrong with the, the variances for the one that was on River Road because it's really, nobody can see it anyways. Right. Um, so, but the question is, should we, should, is it, what does it say? Does it say with a variance or should we say with, is it say with special permit or do we have to do it? Up to 10 acres is a special permit. And then Over 10 acres is no, except, except for industrial. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. Which then requires a variance. And they got it from the yeah. ZBA, not so from how about, I think you, you were hitting it. Right. Just get rid of the voltage and leave everything the way yeah. it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's... And just take out the word... The, okay. Just, just, take just out get the, out the power. The voltage. So are you following this? <laughs> I'm sorry? Power. Are you following this? Yeah, I think so. Just take out the power, not yeah. the voltage. Solar's so good. How come some communities won't even let a solar field be a commercial get constructed well, in there? They are not as in, enlightened as Deerfield. Enlightened or smarter? Well, I, I think it kind of goes down to the quality uh, and, and like beauty's in the eyes of the beholder, you know. Uh, it's like I said, some people look at technology and think, wow, this is really great. And other people look at it as an eyesore. They just want to see the green trees and the flowers and the meadow. But and, it, and that's what it's all about. Fossil fuels but I think even green. then, I, yeah, think, but I think, think it's you, also about commercial you development. Really yeah. You want to took keep away all the tax incentives and all this stuff, and if you did it just on total profit, yeah. how many solar fields would be built? Well, there wouldn't be. But, exactly. But, you know, it, it's, then you kind of... Doesn't you, mean it's wrong, though, Roger. Right. Doesn't it, mean it's right, either, because... Well, then it, it gets into this whole difference of opinion. If, if, if you are an individual, and I'm not taking sides, fields. if you're an individual that believes in global warming and climate change, then the solar fields definitely work. And you can be a person who's extremely frugal and not believe in that, but just say, hey, so look, at, I'm getting free just, energy from yeah, the sun, yeah, I know. so okay. why not do it, you know? Yeah, unless it's the sun just, doesn't come out. Just, you know, you so got a million people you got to have with a million we, different And we appreciate opinions. these discussions, but that's not a planning board issue. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, it is. <laughs> well, no, I think what Rachel was saying is we're in it because of, it, it's, it's, built, it's built infrastructure. And that's what the planning board helps determine where does right. built infrastructure that's going to be around for a long time, where should that go and where shouldn't it go and who should... But they do have a life expectancy. I think 20 years is, is considered... So, um, so you go back to our things and, yes, 10 acres or less, special permit, sounds yeah. good. Yeah. No for the super large ones. And then I think it has to go back to being tougher with the variances. That, that's maybe, which is outside of our use table. But what right? I'm saying is that we gave variances to two... Okay, I'm going to say it again. To two projects in commercial area, that's more that I, I, I stand by both of those decisions, but are we are we opening up? We don't want to okay. necessarily. But what I'm saying, can we make changes to our use table? Yeah. Our use table is yeah. good. It's the variance that's the problem. That's well, what you're saying, isn't mm -hmm. it? So what could we do to to change our use tables? So? Well, what if we a lot in commercial? Oh, you, you're saying it We just made two variances in commercial. Oh, so you want to change the no to special Or maybe we, we review the sites and we say what, what actually is industrial and what's commercial. There's a point at which maybe that site, that the, the railroad yard, yeah, that they, should have been industrial in the first place. Yeah. Maybe that's the issue. The issue isn't okay. that we should allow okay. I got confused. solar I thought in commercial, would, but that because some it's brown of our commercial fields property and it was, is, is not. It without it. But maybe this so way. So so we get industrial is you're right. actually right. creating and taking raw products right. and making something. Right. So I think that's... And, you know, but to, is to that, that point, kind of Roger's well, point, we have an industrial park and we don't have any industry there at all. Right, so why not? You know, it's all right. commercial. Right. Well, but, right. But you know why? This, I think that this is good the way that we have it okay. in, in granting variances because if you have the variance issue at hand, then somebody can come in and say, look, it, I want to put in this extra large solar field and nobody's going to see it. and Like the one that we did. Right. But yeah. somebody else could come in and say, I want to put in this extra large solar field, but everybody's going to see it, and then there's going to be a lot more objection, like there was uh, for the Frontier one over off a of set right row. Right. And, and so the variance thing is a good thing, and then it, it kind of gives, there's extra scrutiny that goes into that, right. instead of just saying, if you can put it in the commercial. Because one of the issues that we have with other things that have gone on in town is that we have residential that abuts a lot more commercial property. And, yeah. you know, people, mm -hmm. you know, it, yeah. that's a difficult thing because yeah. the residents, yeah. they're 
can see that commercial right. thing, right. that's where they get upset. And like you said, we're trying to find something to get everybody happy and right. get sustainable, you know, mm -hmm. uh, projects in the town. All right. So I guess if we if we're just going to change something else, and this can go and just get rid of the the, the wattage right. of the panels, yep. Yep. and then we can deal with it later if we find other stuff sure, we want to yep. change. Yep. Okay. So what I'm hearing is that's your second priority. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you want, you want, okay. Well, we thought it was going to be easy. It's also why we're here. You want, Keep going. You want to work on marijuana. You want to work and on so I, I would say that we want to potentially open the extra large, the no there, we might consider making that a With. special permit. Is, am I right in that the variances are by the ZBA? Yes. Yes. Um, whereas special permits are by the planning board. Right. Mm -hmm. Correct. So that would be a reason to some extent to, if you change that no to a SP, then it comes to the planning board. I think the other but they still have is to that come you, to the you really board. shouldn't be using the variance procedure the way right. you're using it. It's supposed to be for hardships. Yeah. That's why it was so... And that, hardship, right. And, and to say that those... Yeah. Well, the it's, one at the railroad yard was... Uh, I think it was a hardship. No, it hardship wasn't. Problem. Because the, 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 the property well, there yeah. couldn't be used for much anything other than than what we what we used it for. Your definition of hardship. That's not the, de that's not that's the not definition that goes in the, that, in the zoning act. Okay, I right. but I'm just saying it was a brownfields area. Yeah. And uh, no, yeah. so it, I mean I agree with you, but yeah. but not really. <laughs> in, in the in the background way. I mean, mean yeah. kind of. Yeah. So this would be something that we'd bring to a public hearing if we're going to yeah. say we're going to make mm -hmm. a change. We're going to change. Get rid of the wattage thing, whatever the yeah. thing, power thing. Yeah. And Sounds then say, good. should we go to SP? Sounds like a very important commercial thing to, thing to work on. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm hearing floodplain, marijuana, solar, and then was it accessory apartments? I think so. Stop those things. The other one? I think we need to discuss a lot of those. Yeah. Well, to have public hearings and then yeah. move them yeah. forward. Yeah. This is like the thing. So then, accessory, yes, accessory apartments, apartments has been. Is the, is we're the other talking one. about that forever. Yes. So I, I lettered them. I said A is marijuana, B is solar site, D is accessory apartments, and E is adopting the floodplain. That's your four ones. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, but you skipped a letter. I know because I didn't. I, you were counting them there. <laughs> you were getting four of them. I just gave them an arbitrary letters. A, I went down D, the three, list. Indeed. Tell them about that. <laughs> Yeah. Well, floodplains. I mean, we've done right, a lot. Right. That's, that's so we're not even. That can be up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So floodplain, yeah. good. That Marijuana is quick. this one. Yeah. So we need it. Solar, two, and then accessories. Four. Okay. And accessories been waiting too long. Yeah. The, but it's a bigger. But but I, I I guess I guess I'm wondering. We were we had a lot of talk about accessory apartment, but really the bottom line is it should just be two apartments instead of. Accessory. I mean, what do we? Well, this, uh, this is know, this well, was the, this was the. So, if I can make a proposal here, I, I I know many other towns have gone through this, mm -hmm. and that's where maybe we could use Chris's to do a little study here and come up with like what what are the yeah. best practices okay. of the yeah. towns because I think we're we're kind of zero. Yeah, um, and, and instead I'm, ha of, I'm happy to do and that. And I think that that's is something, something that, that yeah, I know I worked on for Cog and Mission too. So. DBPC has some good stuff out there. Right. So I think that would be a. Yep, a good, fruitful good way to look at it. So you got your four, you right. got your four you, choices that we talked about. Chris, then. as you work on that, I mean, you know, one of the things that I see a lot in this town is that, you know, outside of the Central Village District, you can't have multi two two family houses, duplexes. Um, but there's a lot of homes, and I know of at least a dozen, where they added accessory apartments to single family houses in the Central Village District, and they're really they're two family houses, but they're allowed in that district anyway. So how they ever get tangled up into that accessory apartment heading is beyond me. So then you have a situation um, where you can have, because this is where CRV stops and uh, C2 starts, or RA starts, let's say, and you have one house that has the accessory apartment and this one has the accessory apartment. One's technically illegal if that family member's not there and this one isn't. So. I don't know. Yeah, I, I tend to think that it, it should be two two family houses. And if you don't want to have like duplexes, all that, just say one resident has to have a 25% larger footprint than the, the subordinate one, or something like that. You know? Yeah, I think I think there's some pretty clear ways of, of making distinctions between accessory apartments and duplexes that are really important. And I've seen good bylaws that have been written okay. really clearly about that. So I'll, I'll bring some of those in and I'll share a, 
a good example. We can maybe start with that and, and work off well, there's, of there's also a, There's also a housing thing we did. Inventory um, housing inventory. It, it was that inv yeah. the housing inventory. It just yeah. it so serves. That, does that exist? We, we, we did do that. In well, town here. We, yeah. Okay. So this is to help us with that. Yeah. It's a so good step. In fact, in it was like taking, making smaller lots in certain areas of town, and right. and even out in the RA having having multiple, you know, six eight units in a in a building. We, we did we that too. We talked about changing that. I don't so think we will. There's a lot of that that's out there. Changing those, uh, that I don't think ever got into the zone. What's that called? Something zoning. Okay. Cluster zoning. Cluster. Yeah. Can I ask? Is it's things like um, being owner occupied? Is that is that going to zoning? Yeah, and it usually is an issue with yeah. accessory apartments. Yeah, because that, that, that's kind of I, I think a little bit maybe I don't know if I heard it right, but it's that to me has something to do with accessory apartment versus yeah. two duplexes, you know. Yeah. Another, but the, the the problem that you have with stuff like that, and I'm not disagreeing with your overall thinking, is that say I have a house and I make an accessory apartment for a relative, and then you know I want to move south. He buys the house for me as an investment. Now right. you got two living quarters. You know, you can't tell him that you can't rent one or, or both. But he's living there. No, he isn't. No, he's he's not. moved to Florida. He's, I mean, he's no. not living there. Kip, Kip moved to Florida. I moved to Florida, and he Roger's bought sitting an here buying a, an investment property. And that's where I'm, I guess I'm wondering oh, well, if we want to have some. Apartment. But you now you still got two units. What are you going to do? Tell the guy he's going to take one apart? You can't do that. Well, sure, you, you can. Just can't rent no, it. You just can't rent it. But. Another well, community. We're saying that's the thing you could put into the zoning. Maybe we don't want them, but you can. A lot of communities do have an owner-occupied provision. Yeah. In their yeah. And, and like give some advantage to the owner-occupied people and maybe not discount, you know, don't prevent the others, but give an advantage to the ones that, because I think we're, yeah. normally neighborhoods are better when they're owner-occupied, right? I think that's a general. Well, supposedly, because you take sense. some pride in your yeah. property, you yeah. live there. But it, it, and, and I get that, but to say that you can you you cannot limit that person from renting it. It's just like, you know, we have a 55 plus community. If somebody that lives in there takes in their grandson to live with them, who's only 14, you can't tell the kid he can't live well, there. You can't throw the people out of there. I'm glad you brought that up. So now we'll is, is this on the agenda tonight? No, but I'm just. <laughs> no. Is this on the agenda tonight? Well, just read well, the other policies and see if we like them or not. Instead of trying to like. But, but what I'm saying is that when you that, think about right. this accessory apartment thing and how we go about it, you know, there's a lot of things that you say you can do, in it, and and uh, there's a lot of bylaws that you know kind of go through and, and aren't really challenged. But if you don't want to have the issues. There's another community close by. You can put a duplex up or accessory apartment. And a lot of times, this is what they told me, they'll choose accessory apartment because the building requirements are less stringent, so it's cheaper to put that up, and that's why they don't. That's true, too. So that answers some of the question there. Mm -hmm. You don't need all the fire separation codes and stuff. Yeah, five minutes doubled up. All right, so now we need to make like a calendar for this. Um, you know, if we say that we want to have all of this ready for next uh, May town meeting, April. is that realistic? Right. Well, is it April or May? Hey, May. Elections. Um, Elections. Uh, no, it's April. April. Um, meeting. Not meetings in April. Or if we say, we, anyway. I, do, I do. You know, we absolutely want the floodplain, the marijuana, and the solar, and then hopefully we come close to getting the accessory. Yeah. Um, the accessory. It, 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 I'm not also not sure if that's part of a bigger housing thing that we might go back to our housing production plan and bring some of those people back in. Some of those people that were part of that might want to come to some public hearings. Yeah. So that, that we might have to learn as we go a little bit, but should sure, get it started anyway. Yeah. Let's take it as far as we can. As yeah. we can. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we're going back to two meetings a month, I know it. I don't want to stray too far, Chris, but since you've been involved with planning in other municipalities, <laughs> I've been hearing a lot from the governor about uh, doing away with like Deerfield zoning because they're saying it's, it restricts home housing development so much and that they, they really want to promote more. So they're talking about having statewide zoning. Like stretch code. Have you? The, no, not that. That's what the, yeah, I, that's the I honestly don't that's think right. that's, that's ever going to happen in Massachusetts. Okay. I, I think that's a, that, okay. that would be really, really difficult to achieve. They've been trying to, you know, update the, the state's zoning act to just make really fairly minor, modest changes in it for something like 
30 or 40 years now and they can't get it through the legislature just just to update the zoning act and, and make it more modern essentially steve kulik almost almost had it there two yeah, years ago exactly <laughs> so it's it's a really tough thing to make any changes at all but to, to take away local zoning I, I i can't imagine that happening to be honest with you but but there is more of these best practices and there's this healthy choice initiative that i just got an email about today to try to promote they need, we need more housing in Massachusetts, it, mostly in Eastern Mass, yeah. but I think it's also relevant to some of us out here. Yeah, and they create incentives for, yeah. for doing that. And this whole thing about, um, you remember this whole thing about affordable housing, if you don't have 10%, then yeah. people can You're come in. And to, uh, so they have these things where you can kind of, if, 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 if your housing if your housing stock has grown, that's then you then are, you can get some so this waivers what, on some other thing. This I is think why our we housing were, stock has grown actually. Mm -hmm. uh, how? Not our affordable housing, but uh, housing in general because That's of uh, sugar. Oh, housing inventory. If you count inventory, yeah, inventory yeah. It's, this is about housing inventory. Yeah, but there's nothing well, that come under that, we that, to that uh, ability to, to count as affordable to. housing, though, and that's all part of that. No, but there's other things that they're just talking about. They just need housing growth. That's so housing they're not growth, talking okay. about affordable. Let's, oh, okay. They're two different all right, all right. Um, so. So, so what I will do is take your top priorities and draft a scope of work, very simple, and I'll pass it along to Diana. Hopefully we'll get a contract put together. I'll also run it by you guys, I'll maybe send it to John and Rachel, and you can share okay. it just to make sure that the language seems like it's okay. Right. And hopefully we'll get started fairly soon. Excellent. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank, yeah. you, Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Glad tonight worked out. Um, all right, so the other uh, thing on the agenda was um, how, how we function. Was there more discussion we want to have about that? Again, we're trying to get another <laughs> staff person. <laughs> yes, we need to function better. Um, yes, yeah, you have another? Oh. Sign, 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 sign. We just lost <laughs> our consultant, so we're, we're just, we'll it's, it's right now being good, but I don't think we need the consultant necessarily. Signage bylaws should be on our... Yeah, there are a couple, a couple of matters I just feel like have become, are sort of like gray or not really addressed at the current verbiage um, and could perhaps be clarified, use the word clarify in the That's heading of what we're trying to achieve. Can you send us some um, ideas on this? Well, I had two things I wanted to bring up. Uh, one had to do with um, lighting or what illumination. Is the microphone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we've got a couple minutes to yeah. do this. You want to come up to the this microphone? Yes, um, And just yeah. introduce yourself. Um, this is one thing that. Um, Can you just introduce yourself, please? Uh, Stephen Pistrich. Um, let's see. Um, the matter that I'm thinking of it has to do with um, that, that the, the language I've seen in the sign bylaws talks about things like internally illuminated signs and flashing signs, but it doesn't really address this new phenomenon of the LED signs that we have now that are sometimes extremely bright, usually flash or display different messages, whatever they try to attract your attention. Um, for some reason, I know that um, they're just, uh, they're popping up, but they're not really seemingly addressed in the current language. And sometimes I find, well, just very disconcerting or like, um, for instance, when Cumberland Farms put their sign up in the old location, that was like flashing every couple of seconds with like the gas price. Mm -hmm. And that was like, I thought it said specifically, no flashing lights, but somehow they got to put it up. And um, said no intern. It didn't. Say, it said no internally illuminated signs. Your oh. grandfather. Technically, that was a new sign. Yeah, the old sign was but just it was an old um, sign, and it was already internally lit, I believe. Yeah. No, I, don't know I think it was just. Well, well, no, it wasn't internally lit. They put the gas up with letters, the the numbers. But there were lights oh, no, inside. I know that. Yeah. that could be different. But anyhow, um, ah. now of course, um, I've seen it in some towns or situations where you know it's like a quaint, like historic town. I remember one in southern New Hampshire. And like the only thing you could see was this bright LED multicolored thing in front of like one business. And um, that 
can you know i just want to make sure that the town addresses that as a new issue so i um, i think we all agree that you uh, i know there are different types of lights or specifically out there. So could you designate they could be at like yeah. along route five but not necessarily in the rest of town because that's the highway you know and let it go there but um or then you have weird things where like there's the what is it, the Coldwell Banker place that now suddenly has decided to put their LED illuminated listing sheets in their window. The whole window is now this bright like LED illuminated display of everything they sell. And it, it's almost the brightest thing in the center of town now. And it just seems like out of character. And So I think we have to distinguish one thing is our bylaws and then the other is enforcement. So that's um, there is well also the thing is like and then what, what is there a level of like intent like light intensity that yeah. can be viewed as well like well, you got to figure out the signage because well, this, tone it down they've gone over their their allotted signage if they're okay the windows but what's an average it's not only a square yeah. footage but it's like the amount of lumens that are right written. but stray light I think that gets into if yeah. it's, it stays on their property I know what you're saying it can you can see just see a ball if you're on the mountain. And you can see a, a area that's lit up with parking, and you can just see the glow. You know, so mm -hmm. it's going straight up or straight down. So how do you? This is maybe if it come in, came out onto the street, then maybe well, these are an generally issue. focused on displaying to the passerby. They are advertising. It's not just building lighting. It is or whatever site illumination. Yeah. This is no, I understand, yeah. and it's like you say, it's advertising to a certain. Yeah, basically, community. it is specifically advertising. There's a message that's presented by this, um, and I just felt like it's something that you know could be updated when someone looks at these. So I know you've been here uh, other meetings, and you've been here tonight. So I'm going to go back to what I said at the beginning. Okay. If you could write some things down with proposals, because this is not something that. Just to be honest, that's not what you're trying to do tonight. Well, it's it's our, you just heard. So we had five, we had four other bylaws that were yeah. going to is a priority order, and and so to move this along quicker, we want citizens' input mm -hmm. to tell you the truth. That's going to help. And if you, you thought about this, obviously, maybe more than we have. <laughs> so if you could, I don't know if you want to do any research about it, but I'm sure other again other towns have figured this out because you're right that the. the, the it's, is it lumens? I don't know what they talk lumens about. Like, like we talk about the decibels with the the noise, we talk about decibels. There must it's be something also, with light. It's also oh, heat. Yes. They also talk yeah. about heat. Well, uh, lumens is down, it's not so bright. Soft is, is yeah. a certain temperature. So is that something you could help us with? Or? Uh, I, I just don't want to... You'll leave here and we won't do anything for six months and you'll be, you know, you'll be like, why don't right. you do anything? Do you want to draft it? Do so you want to something? Help us. That would be great. I guess I could. <laughs> or enlist um, some other people. I mean, I, uh, I just was trying to present this as a concept that it seems it's like a great has, concept. All right. We all have. Okay. Um, yeah. Say go. But it's on our. Yeah, go do go. something. But our priority <laughs> list is like, it's like, I'm just honest. Right. Nothing's going to happen for six months. Okay. In, well, I wasn't expecting months. anything to happen too fast. This is Deerfield. Okay. But I'm just saying. Um, yeah. But if you also, want what you want, you should start you with what you want. And then everybody the can go yeah. with it. Look at Dick. Because they've got back. Exactly. I think I want to the building, you know, like Joe Blow's Cafe or whatever, you know, and I'm not thinking of like advertising. So when we look at stuff, it's like square footage for the sign. Mm -hmm. Not so much for advertising, yeah. so maybe that's going to become an issue at some point. Yeah, right? Well, and what it brought well, really, up for me when you talked about these flashing signs, I thought you were talking about all the speed signs that are popping up everywhere. Yeah, oh, they're flashing the yeah, ones that flashing. the ones that Cumberland Farm don't flash so much as they change numbers, they don't really flash, they just change the, numbers. One of the well, ways that I can describe the lighting is that if you go to a place like Hamden Beach. And it's almost like a carnival. You get there's, there's flashing the lights, thing. there's Vegas colored lights, and there's all this flashing. <laughs> yeah. But you go to some place like Newport, Rhode Island, mm -hmm. one o'clock in the morning yeah, on a good. Saturday, and it's all well lit, but they're not flashing. Like they're Las all Vegas. the same color, and uh, you know it's it's a totally different atmosphere. You know, and and I'm one. I love signs because I love to see where I'm going. I hate hunting in the dark for places. <laughs> and we've had we've oh, had more complaints. This, 
Well, I was going to say, we've had more complaints <laughs> about people not being able to find things than we have uh, people know. complaining about We're practically being bright sued by... Uh, and you know, I wonder if whoever put those signs up for the speed, why did they make them straight? Couldn't find them Every one of them is cockeyed if you look at them. There's not a single one that's straight around town. Talk to the police department. Well, and also, care. like, in terms so of lonely. ADA compliance, like, if someone is neurodiverse and we have flashing signs, like, how compliant are we when it comes nitpicky things like that yeah. yeah so we got a thing here that's section 3222 section a c additional signs identifying a firm or other advertising devices shall not be allowed except by special permit from the zba you know so i think that's that's why i say this this bylaws and then this Monitoring and enforcement. Um, Enforcement's been uh, pretty lax in this town well, historically. But that's why it's good to know what our bylaw is. My because if we don't need to change the bylaws, if we just yeah. need to enforce it, that's different than changing houses. the bylaws. Yeah. No, they showed up and said um, you have to close down. Your while you're at the bylaws, what about <laughs> the issue of off-premise <laughs> commercial <laughs> advertising oh, no. signs <laughs> directing te people to an out-of-town business? Is there a specific uh, where do you want to comment? So one right across the conversation at a time here. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're this is interesting. interesting. Uh, all right, we good? Did you? Well, really I'm just have wondering about enforcement. Like there, there seems to be a very right wide scheme of how things are right. enforced. So I'm wondering how things are enforced. You go to the town hall and then they tell you to go away. Yeah. Sometimes, or sometimes a cop shows up at your house. So I'm wondering how you get which response. Yeah, how do you, that, that'd be nice to know. <laughs> I mean, no that's, that's not on the, not on the planning board's responsibilities, <laughs> which, is a lousy, the agenda. which is a lousy thing to say. But if you want to look that up and tell us huh. next month, that would be great. Because okay. obviously, obviously none of us are, are, are versed in this. And then the question was about directional signs. There, yeah. There's another whole little paragraph about what's allowed and what's not. Okay. You can direct people to your business, but that sign can only be so big. And so what about if the business is out of town? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's not go there. Um, let's not go. No, no, that's important. Yeah, I think I'm not, I'm yeah. not sure. But, but there is a, there's a bylaw <laughs> for there. directional signs, so. All right. Thank you for bringing, yeah. this, bringing right. this up. Right. And we have put it in our minutes, have we? Yes. This discussion yes. and that we want to address it, but it's. Yeah. It's, and we it's await letters. any support right. you we'll see what I can, can provide. Yep. Yeah. All right. Give it one of your letters. So, um, <laughs> so the other thing, so I was just saying staffing is, um, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. Everybody seems to be aware that we need support, but we're not getting it. So hopefully this position will get filled in the next month or two. Am I allowed to ask what happened? I don't know what happened. I With? Michael. So I just, as I was reading the minutes, I was like, he was just introduced last month, and then he, a week yeah, or two later, he resigned. Yeah. Was it last month? Oh, okay. Lipinski, Michael Lipinski. Yeah. yeah. It was two months ago, I thought. Yeah. It was in the minutes. It was in yeah. the minutes. Yeah. I know, but it wasn't so here last said he day. bought a winning lottery ticket. We, he was introduced in one set of minutes, and the next time he disappeared. Right, so I'm wondering if anybody so was our minutes has the street poop on No, it. no, the minutes were right, no. but, but he, no, he, wasn't he, here he this quit this after we announced it. Yeah, okay. That's why if we introduce too many people, we'll have more people leaving. He was gone by. Really? This is what. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you should start introducing some people. That's what I'm saying. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Was the one before? Every time we introduced, we introduced the guy that came in here, and I the next meeting he yeah, was right. gone. Then we introduced another one, he was yeah, gone. Right, 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 right. And this is the yeah. third guy that we introduced him, and was not he was true. gone. Oh, going That's back not, to the minutes that we here. approved earlier. No, he, he was here, not for the last meeting. What? The one before that? We think, is that what you're we think okay. this sentence is left over from the previous. Wait, wait, okay. Today's minutes. Yeah, the October 7th ones. October the 7th. Rachel's, he was not at the Rachel last meeting. He was not there, but I he was at the previous one. He was at the previous one. He was September, not October. So I think oh, that, yeah, maybe that. Maybe, maybe you're right. Didn't erase it off of that. Uh, okay. Maybe it, maybe that that's what happened. Hang on, let me get that out. You just altered them. That's what I do. <laughs> I edit them. We're supposed to catch his. Yeah, where the heck is that? I'm getting a card. Dang it. Yeah, because the I'm September ones, you yeah, have the exactly. same sentence. Yeah. Okay, so we'll take that out. <laughs> you changed it 714 to 714. Okay, say hold that. on a minute. Let me get there. <laughs> All right. My name is typical. Getting it done. That's my name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are those <laughs> minutes? So the only other um, quick thing is we did have a letter that there was these folks from a place called Grow Space New England who 
on Friday they said they were going to be here, and then this morning they said they weren't going to make it. Um, and they are, they want to come talk to us about putting a um, marijuana cultivation and processing center off of Plain Road. It's kind of a cool site. Plain Road East, which abuts the uh, yeah, that should not highway. be there. Actually, um, up behind them. one of Yankee Candles warehouses. Mm -hmm. Town administrator. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I told them to look at our zoning bylaws because I don't believe it's zoned for it. Um, is that so uh, residential agricultural or is that? Yeah, yeah see, I thought it was more commercial. I think, I think it's industrial in that side of the street. Can you look behind Yankee? I don't have the map. Though. Behind no. what? Behind oh, Yankee. Five. Look, look where it is though. It's not even. This is the Yankee warehouse. This right. is Mill Village. That's right. the plain road. Plain road east. And they're proposing it up here. Oh, I think that is. Cool. Oh, you think Yankee it is Yankee Way is over here. I think this is RA, and that's. So north. they're right inside commercial. Oh. So it's commercial. They can't put a girl. No. No. Without a variance. <laughs> well, it's not in the overlay district. Right. 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 I know that. But, yeah. They can't yeah. use. They this can't grow, and they can't produce. And they can't well. That brings up a good point. I so know, anyway, I'm just saying they're not here tonight. I know, but we had a little activity that a couple of people were interested in putting up grow facilities or cultivation. And we said, well, you know, we don't know if this is really the right place for it and we we're going to put a moratorium to them so we could, because once they start the process, we can't deny them. So I think we need to really do that because we haven't, we've been dragging our feet and we've talked about all this crap and it doesn't get done. And I think that really needs to get done before we get into another situation and we have no choices. We have to start. Well, and to that point, my recent experience with lawyers um, sort of shifted my perception about this whole special permitting. Because before I met with these guys, I was thinking, well, when we write that into something, that means no. It means no unless we say yes. And they were saying no. When someone comes into the town, they say, that says yes. All I have to do is go fulfill whatever they need me to fulfill, and then that's a yes. I have to just give them enough reason and enough, you know, I just have to meet their criteria, and that's a yes. So when we write this in, we have the perception that we're saying no. But when other people come in. You're talking about a special permit? Yeah. Right, I know. They have the perception that about. it's yeah. a yes. They just have to run around and tick the boxes. Yeah. But so, I'm, well, I'm can I just clarify something? You're talking about Dollar General. I'm talking about a general perception of the way laws are read and written. Because the site plan review, which is what we're dealing with, right? With Dollar General, special permit. They haven't. We are not the special permitting for that. They're, that's a ZBA. I'm not talking about that in okay. specifics, though. Do you understand the points I'm making about? Okay. Right, but what I want to say is, site plan review. I think is acknowledged that, that if. If they do enough, then it's a yes. Special permit, I don't think people assume that's a yes. No, that's right. No, the special... I don't think they assume it's a no either, which right. is what you want, which maybe we want them. No, I think... But I, I just I, wanted to clarify there, the difference between special permit and... and I heard and what you said, permit. but I don't... I, the way I look at special permit is that, you know, it's saying that we're open to listening to your proposal <laughs> and that, you know, we're going to take in all the factors that are in our bylaws and then we're going to try to make a rational decision. I get yeah. that, and I get that that's where our head is, yeah. mm -hmm. but I'm just saying that there are other perceptions and there are other ways that people are going to come at us. Oh, they, and they do. Right, and, do. and so I'm saying that I think the language we should use should be, I don't know, defensive? Not defensive, but like protecting our town from someone coming in and saying, well, you, you met this precedent, you've already, you know, the precedent has been set, so why not build X, Y, and Z because of the precedent that you set? And we're gonna decide that like, our building is no better or worse than the thing that you've already approved, so why wouldn't you approve us? Well, you know, and, and I get that point too, but I, I think I go back to even a, even a broader thing. We live in America, and that, you know, everybody has a, a certain amount of opportunities, you know, and that now you have to, uh, bo local boards have to weigh in as to, you know, what are the, if you will, rights of the individual who wants to do something opposed to the rights of the individuals who are there who are opposed to it. And, you know, that's, that's a, a very difficult thing to do because 
it goes right back to the same thing like I said about the solar things. You know, some people like it, some people don't. Right, but if we are careful in our language, then we get to decide. You know, we no. get to at some point. Well, we get to to some degree limit what people perceive they are allowed to ask for. Well, I, I guess. I'd say they can ask for whatever they want. We can say no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I know what she's saying because attorney said that you just can't say no on a site plan review. You, if they right. can meet your criteria, but or some of it or the majority of it, I don't even know. But if there's one aspect that we say no, it's you're, you've got to do this or it just won't go. You still, we would have to sit down and try to negotiate with them. Right. And I said. That doesn't make sense to me. Well, we, one thing you've got to remember, it, and there's, a, I think, uh, Anne Mary's point was a little broader than just site plan review, but there's no mass laws about site plan review. I mean, you know, so, you know, we're, the state as a general has kind of accepted that towns adopt site plan review, but there's no general law saying this. And, so uh, an applicant can argue that, hey, you know, I didn't break any laws. It's just, this is what Deerfield's saying. And it gets back to what she says is arbitrary. You know, it's like, well, why do you say stuff like that? Is it, now, now, if you, you don't want to have a McDonald's here, you better never let on in a meeting that you don't want McDonald's there and that's why your law's that way because well, they're going to yeah. be a lot of trouble. Well, and that's in a sense what you have to be careful how you do these things. So if I could just remind people, when was it we went, we went through our use table? It was about three years ago? We oh, longer than that. Yeah, it was longer than that. <clears throat> and I, we changed a lot of yeses to special permits mm -hmm. to give us more say, just mm -hmm. from what you were saying. And I don't think we changed many no's to special permits. You know, we, we kind of went back like, but we didn't want to make yeses into no's because sometimes there, you know, there is a good business that you do want there. So the special right. permit gives us more flexibility, but you're right, if we're not kind of asking the right questions about it and right. we can't let people run over us. And again, some of the special permits are by the zoning board and some are by us. Well, that was the other thing, like why give it away to yeah. the zoning board if it's a decision we want. And that's that's in our bylaws from, I don't know if we can change that. Well, we can propose it. That, sure. that we should be the special well, permit <clears throat> agency unless... Somebody said that you could have a place to go to appeal our decision. That's what I think. I think oh, we talked about that. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what it's like. It's the Zoning Board of Appeals. Right. 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 The Zoning Board of Appeals. And when you don't like their decision, you have to go to court. Right. So right. I've always said that the Planning Board should be the first. Four decisions. decisions. First. So right. we're going to go there. Then they're going to go. So that could be something that we look have, at, actually. They have more stringent. You have to, you have to get, like, you have to, it's not a simple majority for their, their. Oh, is it more of a yeah. two thirds or something? Mm -hmm. All right, good point. So let's put that in the minutes then, too. That, uh, we want to re oh, revisit um, the special permitting oh, authority in town. Okay, so we want to visit the special. Revisit the. Uh, revisit. Special permitting authority. Special permitting. <laughs> As I understand, special permitting, though, we can turn them down. We don't have to. We don't have to. To do it, you know, it's not like the right. It has to be to the benefit of the town for us to see. Right, this. right. So we have, we have, we have that no. But the, the and speaking of which, the uh, most of the mail is special permits requests from Greenfield, I guess. So. Oh yeah, this is. And then the other thing we did get back was um, the ConCon saying that they reviewed um, the plans that we looked at last month about 198 Mill Village, and they have no changes. 198. So no changes to the original order of conditions. No, will be needed. no changes. This is what we pretty much knew. I was surprised that okay. to con con. Anything else? Not. Uh, <laughs> that yeah. Not previously uh, known about 20, 48 hours ahead of time. Anticipated. All right. So we we'll set it. It was got a date for November eighteenth, six o'clock, and that's. Uh, executive session. Uh, so do we put down that as our next meeting or do we put down the next one for December? No, so we, we, we should put that one. So November 18th, 6 o'clock. Because we're going to say, we said we're going to talk executive session and we're going to talk about marijuana bylaw. Yeah. Okay, so let's just put down 18 and don't yeah. put down December. And actually, if we do make changes to the proposal, 
to the um, proposed bylaws, then we need two weeks to, to put it out there. So December first Tuesday of December might not be it might be too fast. Right. So we might actually have to have a later meeting again. in December. December probably would it would need to be the ninth, the ninth. Or, ninth or sixteenth. Let's make it the ninth. So for now, let's just put November 18th. Okay, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Because if we get something done on November 18th, that gives us two weeks easily, whereas... No, it doesn't give us enough time to put a public notice Not for notice the second, but for the ninth it would. Right, right, for the ninth it would. Anything else? Motion to adjourn? I move that we adjourn. I'll second that. Oh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.